Yes, guys, welcome back again. Winning with blends, Justin Blends. Let's get into side chain compression. In a previous video, we spoke about the pumping effect or that pumping audio effect or that ducking essentially effect that we use with auto duck. This is legitimately side chain compression, okay? Now, some other DAWs do it in various, various ways that may be a little more complicated, but as I mentioned in that previous video, which I will definitely pin right now, check it out. Ducking. This is not auto duck. This is actual side chain. Okay. This comes from a question I received the other day, and I think I may have misrepresented FL Studio Mobile by with with my response. So let me show you guys how to do side chain compression. First things first. What we're going to need is your drum or whatever sounds you want, plus the other sound that you want to side chain. So we're going to link this pad that we have right here let me mute this right now this sound is going to be cutting you know uh, side chained to the drum so every time this bass drum hits every time we get that bass drum this pad is going to duck down and let's just leave this bass line in just for just for good measure just for just to keep it musical okay so as you see one of the main things you're going to need is to, of course, have these three tracks or two tracks, at least two, right? But then you want to have one send track. Guys, we talked about send tracks in the last video. We talked about send, send effects a lot. So please do watch that video. Watch those videos if you need. But what we're doing simply is we're going to click the plus and we're going to add an effect track, which we already have. So we're not going to do it. And we named it limiter. As you see here, I've got a limiter, I've got a compressor, and I've got a multi-band compressor, which is great for mastering, but it's also great for just about any channel because it's got three bands to work with, low, mid, high, and you can use the stereo width to do some separation so that it kind of moves it out of the out of the mid, uh, the mid side mixing essentially. Mid, it's it's just a way of creating with mid side processing uh, with compression, a little bit of EQ at play. It's such a fantastic tool, this one right here. Okay, so looking over here, what we did was we, currently where everything is sent to the master. You can see sent to master. This one's also sent to the master. We won't worry about the bass because right now the bass is really just, let's move the bass to the top. We're not going to work with the bass. The bass is just going to play as it is, okay? What we're going to do though is on that effect channel, we're going to make sure that we have a limiter set. Okay, so let me mute this pad and just get the drums over there. So let me mute that from the master and send that, send the bass drum straight to the limiter. The limiter uh, auxiliary track, okay? Now, as you can see, I have compression, I have a threshold set so that it's cutting into or biting, let's say, as I always say, into that, that bass drum. I also have the release time a little bit later so that we get a little bit more of a grab on whatever is going to be cut, okay? We'll get into these other two, the compressor and the multiband compressor, in a moment. But let's look at the probably the easiest and the fastest way to get auto duck is by doing the, or sorry, auto duck, pardon me, side chain compression, actual th side chain compression. So we got this one, the bass drum sent to the limiter, uh, auxiliary track, and we're gonna have the this pad as well sent to the limiter alone. So not sent to the master. Let's put, turn this on. There you go. Let's listen to it without the limiter. Listen to that pad. Listen to this sound. Take note of this sound. Okay, and listen to this. Okay, let me take this off. There's no limiter being applied right now, even though it's on, like a solo, it's gone. It's, it's bypassed. Let's turn it back on. Let's send the bass drum to the limiter. So you see the bass drum is getting cut just a little bit. We can do that by adjusting the threshold. Now we're going to send this pad to which by the way the pad is a couple of different super saws just to get some low end and some high end so you guys can hear it very clearly in this demonstration let's take it off the master completely gone let's send it to the limiter auxiliary send track you guys hear that let's add this baseline back in okay let's here we go okay so that's one way now what i would do as well to get your drums to be at the right level, I would do some some parallel processing. So I would send some to the master and maybe add a little bit more of the bass drum back. You guys find the right balance for your mix. I can't speak on this, it's up to you, right? 
So there you go. That is simply how you do actual sidechain compression in FL Studio Mobile. Let's dive a little bit deeper, guys. Stick around. I want you to see a little bit more, okay? So right now, let's go back to the limiter channel right here. We can take this off and you can hear. Now the bass drum, there is a limiter on the main track. So that's why you may be hearing a little bit of pumping. So let me just lower this threshold, increase the threshold. So we're not chomping too much of that. So there's no pumping effect, okay? We're gonna try the same thing with the compressor. Um, and maybe if I increase the threshold, we can still get it. See that? We got it with the compressor. So, as you guys know, I'm not really the biggest fan of using limiters so much, even though they are great tools. I prefer to use the compressor and the multiband compressor as often as I can in many instances and using a lot of parallel compression and parallel processing, pardon me, right? So we'll lower the release time. We can increase the attack or lower the attack, whatever we want, but we want to work with the ratio to get that pump, okay? So to me, like I said, the compressor is not the best way, depending on the drum, depending on the sound that you are uh, trying to side chain. So let's move on to the multiband compressor, okay? The multiband compressor is very similar to any compressor limiter, but you have three different bands. So now you have to concern yourself with where is the frequency of the sound that you're trying to work? Is it more in the high range? Is it more in the mid range or the low range? Because if we're cutting out, let's just say we have a lot of cutting in the bass, it may not do anything because the pad may not have a lot of bass. Let's quickly do this, guys. I didn't really plan to go so deep, but hey, why not? If you guys are joining me for this journey, I appreciate you, okay? As you see, we don't have a lot of low end bass in these pads. So when we go over here and we start to cut so much of this bass, like I'm doing some crazy levels right now. If I drop the attack and I increase the release, we're not gonna get as much of a pump because we're cutting the low end, but there's not much low end in this pad, so we're not gonna get much of that pump. Let's increase this and go to the mid. We're gonna get some, but also maybe not a lot. But then if we go to the high, we may get a bit more. Lower the threshold. See, so we got that pump. Let me take this off and listen. And turn off the bass. Now let me add the multi-band compressor back on. You guys can hear that pump, because I can hear it. Let's turn on the compression, see if we can still catch it. Right? The compressor's a little chunkier because it's really... It's really the, the entire band, the entire song. It's not really separated by band. So diving in deeper with multiband compressor gets you more fine tuning, okay? And let's drop this. Again, hear, hear it without any sidechain compression. Let's add the limiter on. Okay, now one of the key things, of course, is let's, let's raise this up. It's important to, again, work with your parallel processing to get the right levels, because if we turn this off, now the kick is really, being destroyed right listen to the kick on its own okay and listen to the kick with the limiter on it may not necessarily be as strong maybe it's a little hard to hear but you can see we're attenuating quite a bit from the kick so this is why i would go into the parallel processing and start to add a bit of the master back in so guys i personally i really 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 hope this one was useful to you we just went through three different ways that you can legitimately do side chain compression really it's one way but it's using three different compressors a limiter which is an extreme form of compression and um a compressor which is just the full band everything and then of course the multi-band compressor which allows you to separate those bands you could separate the width i personally use all three of them in different ways but maybe i could dare i say my favorite would be the multi band compressor just because it is such an advanced tool for something so simple and it's just absolutely useful guys 
thanks for checking this one out as usual winning with blends i want to hear your feedback for anybody who's asking questions and and showing love and showing support you guys have have my attention and i definitely look forward to seeing you guys in the next one and in the chats drop a comment i want to check it out and see you guys in the next one again justin blends winning with blends fl studio mobile let's do it let's go let's 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 go do you know let's go let, let, let's go <laughs> all right guys take it easy <laughs>